and singleness of heart. Amen. So in other words, they let, not only did they worship together, amen, but they fellowship together. They taught and learned together, but then they shared a meal with each other. Amen. So because you guys have obliged me, amen, obliged the church in coming at 8 o'clock this morning, amen. We got, we got a little break in the bread after service, amen, amen. Because we have to learn, amen, not only to dance together, but we also got to learn how to fellowship together, amen. amen. Because what does the Bible say? Forsake not the assembling of yourselves together. Amen. Jesus said come together. That's Jesus didn't say uh, what to do. He said you just need to be together. Right. Amen. Because you got to understand your strength comes when you're together. Amen. Amen. Your power comes. Amen. That's how you feel the love of God. This is how you know that ye are my disciples. That ye love one another. Amen. Amen. And this is how you show love by breaking your bread and by sharing together. So don't rush. Don't rush. Amen. Too soon. Amen. Make sure you go back and get amen that has been uh, that which has been prepared for us. Amen? Amen. 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 Nevertheless, it is uh, word time. Amen. amen. The praise amen. team. Amen. It's coming back. I got a word I want to share with y'all that's been bubbling in my soul all week, even this morning, early morning. It's been bubbling. Amen. The praise team is coming back. Amen. To share with us again. Amen. And then we will go right into the word of the Lord. Amen. 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 He's real, yeah. I really know 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 he
Oh, I know he's real. Oh, take it somebody say, I know he's real. God bless his name. Bless his name. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. The hymn writer says, Some folk may die. Some folk may scorn. All can just desert and leave me alone. But one thing I know that God is real. How do you know it? Because I can feel him. Oh, come on, y'all. Say, I know he's real. I know he's real. I know he's real. I know he's real. Glory to God. Bless the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I know he's real. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this time. Amen. A time that you knew about long before the world began. You knew we would be here to declare the unsearchable riches of Christ. We pray now, God, that you bless your word as it is preached to us this day. Speak through your manservant. Let me speak not words that be of my own self, but bless your word that your word can find in us all a lodging place. We bless you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Someone say amen. amen. Grab your Bible, stand to your feet. Let's hear what the Lord has to say to us today. Anybody glad? Yeah. Y'all don't know how good y'all bless me to see you smiling. Amen. 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 Singing, praising the Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. God is doing some amazing things. Go with me to the gospel according to John chapter 4. The gospel according to John chapter 4. John chapter 4. We're going to begin reading with verse 19. John chapter 4, beginning with verse 19. When you have it, you can say praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Amen. The Bible reads like this from the King James Version. The woman said unto him, Sir, I perceive that thou art a prophet. Our fathers worship in this mountain, and ye say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. Jesus said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when ye shall neither worship in this mountain, nor yet at Jerusalem. Worship the Father. Ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship. For salvation is of the Jews. But the hour cometh. And now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Yes. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit. Yes. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. Amen. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You may take your seats in the presence of the Lord. Yes, Lord. Want to look, want to look in that verse 23. Amen. But the hour cometh and now is. 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 Want to preach, want to preach from a subject this morning entitled The Hour Is Come. The hour is come. The hour is come. The hour, the word hour, is a measurement of time. Yeah, it helps us mentally understand distance in a sense of time. Mm -hmm. There are 60 minutes in an hour. Mm -hmm. There are 24 hours in a day. Mm -hmm. There are 12 hours in the morning. Mm -hmm. And there are 12 hours in the evening. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. For example, if I tell you to meet me at the cookout in about an hour, I'm telling you that I'm not going to arrive for another 60 minutes. Mm -hmm. If my mom tells me she wants me to meet her at the Walmart on Skybo in half an hour, I know that I have 30 minutes to do what I need to do before I have to meet her. Somebody say amen. amen. If, my, if I ask my sister for the time and she says that it is a quarter past the hour, 
I know that it is 15 minutes past the top of the hour. Somebody say amen. amen. If I was to tell my dad, dad, wake me up a quarter till, he knows that 15 minutes before the strike of the next hour to wake me up. Come on, somebody say amen. Amen. For the hour, it helps us to measure time and distance. Mm -hmm. It helps us to understand time constraints. Mm -hmm. It helps us to define time, perceive time, appropriate time. It helps us to read time on a clock. Mm -hmm. For the hour is time and the time is in the hour. Oh, I'm not lost. I'm going somewhere. Mm -hmm. Time, time is told by the hours on a clock. Be it a digital clock or an analog clock, catch this, time will still be the same. The grandfather clock huh, will read the same time as the wall clock. Mm -hmm. The analog clock will read the same time as the projection clock. Come on. The water clock will read the same time as the mantle clock. Mm -hmm. The sundial clock will read the same as the master clock. Huh? For time and time will not change. Time is time and it will not change because time is in a, and it, it is an indefinite continued progress mm -hmm. of existence. Catch this and time records the events in the past, present, and future. Mm -hmm. Yes, time. Time is a point measured in hours and minutes. Yeah, hey, time is either past midnight or past noon. Mm -hmm. Time is a process. Yeah, time is activity. Yeah? Time is movement. Yeah, somebody shout time. Time. Time is so important. It was so important that the wisest man of the East, King Solomon, took the time to explain time and its purpose in the earth. He says in Ecclesiastes 3, to everything there is a season and a time. Yeah, he said there's a time to be born and a time to die. There's a time to plant and there's a time to pluck up that which was planted. It's a time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. There's a time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from from embracing, a time to get and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to cast away, a time to rend and a time to sow, a time to keep silent and a time to speak. Come on, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. Somebody shout time. Time. Time, this is not the only time in scripture, glory to God, that time is mentioned. When the Apostle Paul was ready to go to be with the Lord, he wrote these words to Timothy. For I am now ready to be offered up, for the time of my departure is at hand. Yeah, yeah to behoove the saints in Thessalonica about the second return of Christ. He said, but the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord is coming like a thief Amen. oh come on come on come on come on come on yeah, concerning yeah. the restoration of the kingdom of Israel Jesus tells them it is not for you to know the times and the seasons yeah. that the Lord have put in his own power but ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon yeah. you somebody shout time time, time. This is the part, this is the part, catch this. Just as there is a time for every purpose under the heavens, there is a time for worship. Come on. Amen. Yes, yes. 
<laughs> Maybe I need to say that thing again. <laughs> Just as there is a time for every purpose under the heavens, uh, there is a time for worship. <laughs> there is a time for true worship. <laughs> oh. Authentic worship, genuine worship, sincere worship, godly worship, pure worship, holy worship, consecrated worship, sanctified worship, spirit filled worship, worship that comes from the heart. There is time for worship. Somebody lift your hand and say, Worship. worship. This morning, this morning, Amen. God has sent me to remind the church that there is a time when the saints of God should be worshiping Him. We should feel His presence, live in His presence, dwell in His presence, reside in His presence, sit in His presence. We should be able to express our love for God, express our reverence from His holiness. We should bow in adoration to our God. Somebody say worship. Come on, somebody say worship. Glory to God, someone is saying, catch this. Someone is saying, Pastor, you continue to mention huh, that there is a time for worship, huh, but you are not giving us the specific time. Uh, yeah, you did not give us the time for worship. Uh, so you said, I'm looking at the clock, Pastor, uh, but I don't see the word worship anywhere on it. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at my watch, Pastor, uh, but I don't see worship anywhere on it. Uh, I'm looking at the, uh, the phone and the numbers keep rolling, uh, but the word worship never comes across. Uh, even the alarm that sounded this morning, uh, it didn't even say worship. Uh, so, Pastor, when it is the right time or the appropriate time to worship my God. I'm so glad you asked because the truth of the matter is this. Catch this. A natural clock cannot tell you how to express an eternal love. A natural clock cannot tell you how to express spiritual adoration. A natural clock cannot tell you how to offer praise and worship Catch this to an endless God. The reason being is because flesh created the clock and flesh is governed by time. However, catch this when you accepted Jesus Christ, you stepped out of man's mechanism and understanding of time and you began to live, breathe, and walk in eternity. Maybe I need to say that again. When you gave your life to the Lord and you accepted Jesus Christ, you no longer lived in time, but you stepped over into eternity. And the problem with the church is that we think eternal life does not begin until the hearse wheels start. But the devil is a liar. When you gave your life to Christ, he said, I'm going to give you something now. You shall not die, but live to declare the works glory to God to somebody say I'm living eternal I'm living eternal now I understand why Jesus said I am the resurrection and I am the life any man that believeth in me though he were dead yet shall he live and so, catch this, we began now to live, and we live in flesh, but we walk in the spirit. Amen. Yeah, our bodies became quickened as we were made alive by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And when we worship a nat when we worship, catch this, a natural clock we cannot tell us what to do because that which is flesh is flesh, and that which is spirit is spirit. And there is no right time for worship for those who live eternally. We just have to do catch this, we have to do in the earth what's being done eternally in the heavens. We have to do down here what is already being done over there. Now I understand what Jesus meant. He said, as it is in heaven, so let it be in the earth. In other words, if the angels worship all day, then we have to worship all day. 
angels cry holy all day. We have to cry holy all day. If the angels lift him up all day, we got to lift him up all day. So to answer your question, the right time to worship is right now. Oh, somebody missed that. I said the right time to worship is right now. Touch your name and say right now. Right now. Right now. Now is the time for true worship. Now is the time for sanctified worship. Now is the time for sincere worship. Now is the time for consecrated worship. Somebody shout right now. In other words, the hour is come. The hour for true worship is here right now. The hour for sincere worship is here right now. The hour for holy worship, spirit-filled worship, consecrated worship is right now. God said, I'm calling you to worship. I'm demanding you to worship. I'm requiring you to worship. He said, I'm sitting on my throne and waiting to receive your worship. God help me. And God says, nobody can worship me for anybody else. You got to worship me for yourself. Huh? Touch your neighbor and say, the hour has come. Yeah, the hour is come, catch this, the hour is come for us to dedicate our lives to worship. The hour is come for us to separate from the world and commit ourselves to worship. The hour is come for us to abandon worldly desires and cling to the power of worship. Somebody say worship. But God is calling us to worship him. He wants to give up, he wants us to give up our filthy garments of sin and worship him. He wants us to kill our flesh and worship him. He wants us to release our bad habits and release our struggles and worship him. He wants us to drop our weights at the foot of the cross and worship him. He wants us to give up our burdens and our cares and simply worship him. It's time for the church to worship the Lord. It's time for the church to worship God for who he is. He said worship me because I'm Jehovah God. Worship me because I'm Yahweh. Worship me because I am that I am. Worship me because I'm the God of Abraham. Worship me because I'm the God of Isaac. Worship me because I'm the God of Jacob. Worship me because I'm the God of Israel. Worship me because I am the King of Kings. Worship me because I am the Lord of Lords. Worship me because I'm Jehovah Jireh, the God that provides. Worship me because I'm Jehovah Raphael, the God that healed thee. Worship me because I'm Jehovah Nisi, the God your banner. Worship me because I'm Jehovah Shalom, the God of your peace. Worship me because I'm Jehovah Raya, your way and your shepherd. Worship me because I'm Jehovah is canoe, the God of your righteousness. Worship me because I'm Jehovah Shammah, our life and our ever-present God. Worship me because I'm El Shaddai. Worship me because I'm Elohim, the creator of the universe. Y'all may not get it like that, but worship me because I'm the lily of the valley. Worship me because I'm the bright and morning star. Worship me because I'm the rose of Sharon. Worship me because I'm omniscient. I know all things. Worship me because I'm omnipotent. I got all power. 
now worship me because I'm a friend that's sticking closer than a brother. Worship me because I am a way maker. Worship me because I'm a bridge over troubled waters. Worship me because I'm a will. In the middle of a wheel, worship me because I'm wonderful. Worship me because I'm a counselor. Worship me because I'm the mighty God. Worship me because I'm the everlasting Father. Worship me because I'm the Prince of Peace. Worship me because I am a Savior. Worship me because I'm a deliverer. Worship me because I gave my life. On that rugged cross, worship me because I'm God. And beside me, there is no other. Worship me because I'm God. And I'm God all by my. Hallelujah. 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 Worship me. He said, Worship me. Yes. He said, Worship me. Yes. Yes. Come, Jesus. let us worship the Lord yes. in the beauty of holiness. Oh, yes. Give him the glory. Jesus. Give him the praise. Jesus. Come, let us worship the Lord Jesus. in the beauty of holiness. Jesus. Worship him. Jesus. Worship him. Jesus. Give my God the glory. Jesus. Give my God the praise. Worship him. Worship him. Come, let us worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Somebody say, worship him. It's not until we get in worship that yokes can be destroyed. It's not until we get in worship that chains can be broken. It's not until we get in worship that the lost can be found. It's not until we get in worship that the broken can be healed. It's not until we get in worship that God can come in, sit down among his people. Somebody say worship him. Worship him. Worship him. I'm reminded of the story of King Uzziah. Isaiah said it was in the year that King Uzziah died that I saw the Lord high and lifted up. He said it was not until sin died and worship kicked in that I saw the Lord where he's supposed to be. He's supposed to be high and lift it up now I understand why he said lift me up cause if you lift me up I'll draw me I wish I had a witness in here he said lift me up he said I saw the Lord I lift it up I saw the Lord in his splendor I saw the Lord in his glory he said I saw the Lord as he was supposed to be he said but when I recognize who God was he said worship kicked into me and I realized who I was and he said woe is me I'm a man of unclean lips you haven't been in true worship yes. until God shows you who you really yes. Glory to God. You can dance and shout all day and never see who you really are. But when you get into worship and you begin to worship him sincerely and you begin to worship him from your heart, he'll tell you I'm a holy God, but you still sneaking and geeking. I'm a holy God, but you still dropping it like it's hot. I'm a holy God, and you still stepping, you still straddling the fence. I need about ten people in here that can say I want true worship. Show me who I am. Show me what I did wrong. Show me how I messed up. Woe is me. I'm a man of unclean lips. Yes, yes. But aren't you so glad yes. that when you're in worship, yes. God won't leave you yes. in a messed up state. But the Bible says that God commanded the seraphim, go and get a coal. And he put the hot coal on the lips of Isaiah and cleansed him up. I'm so glad that God will show me who I am. But he also cleaned me up. He also put me 
on a path called straight. He'll also clean my mind. He'll also clean my heart. I need about 10 people in the room that can say, I'm going to worship him. Because I want him to clean my mind from dirty thoughts. I want him to clean my heart from unpure imaginations. I want him to clean my eyes so I can see like he sees. Clean my feet so I can walk like you walk. Clean my mouth so I can talk like you talk. Cleanse my ears so I can hear what the Spirit is saying. Clean me up. Clean me up. Create in me a clean heart. Somebody say worship. Somebody say worship. God said, I'm calling you beyond just lifting your hand. He said, I'm calling you beyond your emotions. I'm calling you beyond singing slow songs. I'm calling you beyond three-part harmony. God said, I'm calling you to go a little deeper. I'm calling you to go beyond the veil. I'm calling you to go into the holy of holy. He said, I'm calling you to go in the inner courts. I'm calling you to go to the prison floor. I'm calling you to go to the throne room. God said, I'm calling you to lay at my feet. I'm calling you to the foot of the cross. I'm calling you where only God dwells. I'm calling you. I wish I had a witness in here that can see that God is calling you. Hallelujah. Let's look at the text. Hallelujah. And I'm going to get you out of here. Yes, yes. But in the text, yes, Jesus comes to a well. Yes. Uh -huh. And the Bible says yes. that while he's at the well, uh -huh. a woman, a Samaritan woman shows up. Yes. And he looks at the woman and he says, will you give me something to drink? <laughs> she looks back at Jesus and said, Jesus, you know we don't even rock together. You're a Jew and I'm a Samaritan. And how you going to ask me to give you something to drink? Jesus looked back at her and said, if you knew who you were talking to, glory to God, you wouldn't be asking me how can, I, how can you give me some water? But you would say, what can I do to get some water that you have? Yes. Jesus looked at her and said, let me tell you something. Any man that drinks of this natural water is going to surely thirst again. But he that believeth on me, as the scriptures have said, it out of his belly. witness in here. I wish I had a witness in here. I said I wish I had a witness in here that said I tasted it now I see how good the Lord is. I turned my cup up and he filled me with an everlasting fountain that never runs dry. You know I'm still happy after all the hell I've been through. It's because there's some water living inside of me. You want to know why I keep on praising God, after people talk about you, run your name in the mud, it's because there's some water living in me, and every time I take my seat, that water gets to boiling, and it's just like fire, I said it's just like fire, shut up in my bowl, I gotta get out of here, he tells her, he said you ought to drink from this fountain. Uh -huh. And she says to him, how in the world do you have, glory to God, this kind of water? Jesus looked at her and said, where your husband? She said, I ain't got no husband. He said, I know you don't. He said, because you got five, and the one you got now, he still ain't yours. Glory to God. But listen to this. He says you got five husbands. And the one you got ain't yours. He revealed to her her mess up. But what was he going to do? He said you might got five. He said but I can wash your slate. If you just drink some of this water. You ought to touch your neighbor. Say you ought to start drinking. You ought to start drinking the water. You ought to start drinking the water. Do you want to know what the water is? The water is the word of God. The water, the water is the word of God. Hallelujah. How do I know it's the word of God? Because in Tuesday night Bible study, we talked about the washing of the word. Won't 
the word clean you up. Won't the word wash you up. Won't the word give you a brand new start. And he said to her, he said, she said, I perceive that thou art a prophet. He said, I perceive that you can look beyond who I am into who I'm supposed to be. And he said, you proceed right. But catch this. She said, but you say that we don't need to worship right here. Our father, Jacob, gave us this mountain. Are you greater than Jacob? And Jesus said, the hour is coming. Oh, come on now. And the hour is, in other words, he said, because you accept Jacob, let me give you a revelation of who I am through Jacob, because I'm the God of Abraham, and I'm the God of Isaac, and I'm the God of Jacob. He said, if all you believe is the Old Testament, let me show you who I am in the Old Testament. I am the deliverer of Joseph from the prison. I am the burning bush that was torn. I am the bread that fell down from heaven. I am the water that came gushing out of a rock. I am the sweet water that was turned. I am the rod that split the Red Sea. I am the God that healed in thee. I The time is coming, and the time is already here. Well, you don't have to go to Jerusalem. You don't have to go to the Passover feast. You don't have to go to the Feast of Tabernacles. You don't have to go to the celebration of Jubilee. You don't have to go to the Feast of Weeks and the Feast of Grain. He said you don't have to do any of that. Why? Because I'm the new Passover. Because I'm the celebration of Jubilee. They freed you on the 50th year. But if you believe in me, whom the sun set free, is free in me. He said, all you got to do is worship me. Your time is coming where you can just worship me out of your spirit, out of truth. He said, don't worship me just because it's a celebration. He said, but worship me every day of your life when you're riding down the road. Worship me when you're in your lazy boy chair, worship me. God said, the Worship. Yes. Worship. Yes. Hallelujah. Come on. Yes, yes. So, yes, Lord. So, yes, Lord. he says, The time is coming. Amen. And the time is when you worship. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you. He said, If you're looking for the appropriate time, mm -hmm. The appropriate time <laughs> is right now. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. 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 Look what Jesus said to her. The hour cometh. Remember, I told you that time was process yes. and progress. Mm -hmm. He said, the hour cometh. In other words, the hour is approaching. But then what did Jesus say? The hour cometh and now is. He said, so it's coming for all of those who have not accepted me. But for everybody that believes, the hour is already here. He said, the people that haven't accepted me, I can expect them to worship me. But for everybody that said I'm their God yes. and they are my people, the hour's already here. Yes. So if yes. you've been saved, <laughs> sanctified, no. and filled with the Holy no. Ghost, God said, don't you come to church and cross your legs and cross your arms. Don't you come to church like you got it all together. Don't you come to church like I ain't did nothing for you. Worship me. Yes. 
come stand to your feet the yes, hour. Yes. Yes, Lord. The yes, hour. Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The hour is here. Amen. For you to worship Hallelujah. the Lord. Amen. Lord. Come. Let us worship the Lord Jesus. in the beauty mm -hmm. of holiness. Yes. Worship Him. Thank you, God. Worship. Yes. Give my God the glory. glory. Give my God the praise. Thank you, Jesus. Worship Him. Hallelujah. Worship Him. Hallelujah. Come, let us worship Him. Let's give him praise. We are coming to this house. We're gathered in his name to worship him. We have come into this house, gathered in his name to worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Glory, hallelujah. Christ the Lord right now right where you are right where you are close your eyes and worship the Lord in our lives. We ask, dear God, that you would help us 
mold us, shape us into true worshipers. Those that worship in spirit and in truth. We love you this day and we praise you. In Jesus' name, someone say amen. Prepare your hearts to give to the Lord. Let's lift up holy hands and magnify his name and worship. Anyone need an envelope, they can raise their hand. Make sure you write on the envelope. Lift up holy hands and magnify his name and, and worship him. Lift up holy hands and invite his name and worship God the Lord. Worship him. God Let us stand. The Lord. Part of the worship is given. Worship the Lord through your giving. Amen, amen. Let's just worship Him. The Lord. Father, bless these gifts that we are bringing to you as we give out of the sincerity of our heart, not grudgingly nor of necessity, because we realize, God, that you love a cheerful giver. We thank you this day and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. We are going to begin with my right, your left, starting from the rear. Let's give with a smile on our face. Amen. Just wanna praise you Woo! from the left. Forever, yeah. and ever, and ever, for all. Come on, put your hands together and stand to your feet. You died, you died for me. Come on, blessings and glory. Blessings and glory. Blessings and glory and honor and honor they all belong to you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, bless it. Forever and ever, and ever, and ever, 
Pour all, all you've done, you've done for me. Anybody happy about what the Lord has done? Blessings and glory. And honor. We just want to praise you, Lord. They we want to give you honor. They are they are blessings and we come to praise you, Lord. We come to lift you up. Blessings and and honor. Jesus, we thank you for this day. Thank you for this service. Thank you for dwelling in, in the midst of your people. Remind us, God, how to worship you. Remind us, God, how to give you the glory. We love you and we praise you. Now may the grace of the Lord, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, may it now rest through the body and forth now forever. And all the saints of God said, Amen.